Sunday the 27th of May 2018 heading over to the Winnies for my first meeting of the day which is the Winnies allotment committee. Allotment committee now over and we're back in the kitchen getting ready for the barbecue we're having tonight that's aimed at shifting some of the surplus food that we've got from last year that needs using up uh, because we need the space in the freezers for the crops that we'll be getting in this year. So we're going to have a quick look at what we're preparing. So in the bowl we have uh, some old pork burgers. This was from the last pig that we got uh, so they've been there for quite uh, about three years now so obviously need using up. And the red meat is uh, pigeon breast that's already been uh, minced up and we will be having a veggie burger so we've got some climbing beans there that, uh, that we've had in the freezer for a couple of years and uh, they will be ground up to make veggie burgers with a few peppers there. Uh, we've got quail eggs and our pink fur apple potatoes. They'll be uh, made into a salad. And in the oven we have three lamb joints from the lamb that we got as part of a swap last year. We've taken a few minutes off from preparing the barbecue and we've come up to the Tanfield Railway uh, to sort out the repairs to the uh, the Sunnyside History Society stand which is in the main shed which is over there. Uh, we've just had a call from Chris at the allotments here to say that there's a bore, uh, bee swarm and uh, she said she saw it heading in the direction from our far side allotment to our um, other allotments and so we've got here and we've got some old unused beehives there and they are all building up a swarm around them and we suspect they might actually be moving into one of our empty hives. So we're just going to keep an eye on them for the time being. And then work out how we can capture them. At the moment we're not sure whether we've got one swarm or two. Uh, if it's one swarm then it seems to be splitting up between two different sets of hives. If it's two swarms it's just an amazing coincidence that they're swarmed at the same time and they're building up next door to each other on uh, empty hives. Well we think it is just the one swarm and it has been moving into this hive at the end which uh, David has just slightly rearranged uh, which is um, one of life's um, or beekeeping uh, unexpected turn of events where we have to go through to a lot of effort to catch a swarm and then rehouse it in a hive and this swarm has managed to cut out the middle section and just moved straight in. Pretty certain that the queen is in the hive because the bees are gradually going in through the entrance there so they will follow the Queen. So here we are at the Winnie's ready to start our barbecue and we've had one slight change of plan because of the bee swarm incident we didn't make the veggie burgers so since uh, Richard insisted yesterday that we buy a packet of commercial produced ones then he had the backup plan ready so We've got um, homemade pork and pigeon burgers and we have commercially made veggie burgers. We'll probably not need to use both of the barbecues so we'll just use this one here. Uh, this is really lovely and peaceful and relaxing and good food coming up. Not all this mass produce stuff that uh, everybody else, all of you lots, uh, 
survive on in the rat race. It's uh, good food and relaxing times for us until the rest of the family gets here, of course, and then it's uh, chaos and uh, uh, me standing over the, uh, the barbecue. Well, this barbecue seems to have been quite a success. What are you looking for, Richard? Oh, the bottle opener. <laughs> 